Hi guys, Lynette with the Red Carpet Report. We are at the Academy for the 25th anniversary of Who Framed Roger Rabbit? I mean, do you remember this movie? It was an amazing movie. We're going to talk to the director and some of the original characters, so come on, let's go take a look. So, nice to see you. 25 years, Roger Rabbit. What is it about this movie that resonates with so many people 25 years later? Well, I think it's just a, 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 a you know, um, it's a perfect combination of elements that brought together a wonderful story and historical, um, you know, characters, cartoon characters, and um, it resonates because it's funny and great. Where's Roger Rabbit been hiding out lately? Where's Roger Rabbit? What? Where's he been hiding out lately? You know, Roger, he's a hard one to pin down. You can hear him laughing. That's how you find him. And where's Toontown? You know, Toontown's right on the other side of the wall. You just have to be—you just have to be looking for it. Yeah, I get lost all the time. I'm very directionally challenged. So, what? A lot of younger people coming up who haven't seen the original Roger Rabbit, they're going to be able to see this new rendered version. And I've heard that there are some deleted scenes that are in it that weren't in the original. Are there any deleted scenes? No, I don't think that the, the content of the movie has changed at all. All it is is it's now just been digitally restored. But still, the fact is, is that that original hand-drawn animation, I think, will just be more brilliant. And then they can see in a historical way, like, you know, really probably one of the last fine hand-drawn animated movies. Now, for people that are up-and-coming animators, do you think it's important for them to know how to draw? Because you know how everything is digital and online and all of that. Do you think it's important to actually put paper and pen together? You are, yes. I mean, that's the key to the art form, is drawing. I don't care what form it takes, whether it's on a piece of paper, whether it's on a computer screen, you're still an art. Nothing like just comes out of the screen without an artist you know, interacting with it. So um, yeah, they do have to learn how to draw. And how hard is it to produce an animation? Because I've under, my understanding is some of them can take two to three years to actually go from beginning to on screen. It's, it's a different pace in your life, you know, rather than in shooting live action where, you know, you have a very tight schedule and you're just going to um, see the result of what you're doing in two to three months. In animation, you pace yourself and you have to see a great big long schedule and then adjust to that. So, um, otherwise, I mean, they're just equally hard um, and require the same diligence, but it's just a whole different, different world, you know. Have an amazing night. I appreciate you stopping by. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, make sure you like and subscribe. Bye for now.